you see these barrels uh, stacked up there? Well, that is going to be my version of a log beehive. And what I'm a doing, I'm in the process of making this into a hive, and I'm going to try to keep bees in this. But uh, I'll get off here, and I will show you what I'm doing here. It's a raining here, so bear with me. And our power went out here about an hour ago, so I'm uh, trying to get this worked on, and I'm uh, working on this here today. So I'll I'll show you what I'm doing here. This is what I have here, and what I did, I drilled holes in the side of this. And then I went out here in the yard, I got me a sycamore tree out here, which it don't matter what kind of sticks you use in this thing. But I got in here and I put me a cross in here, like a crosshairs and a scope on a gun. And why I did that, what I'm going to do, I've got me some old wax old drawn out comb that is really old and I'm going to hang that in there and I'm going to make a swarm trap out of this and if bees move into this I'm going to uh, just leave them in here but this is what I'm in the process of doing and uh, this is how my dad and them used to keep bees years ago not necessarily in a barrel, but I will tell you more about that here in a few minutes. But anyhow, here's some crossbars put in there. And what I did, and if I can get you down there close enough, I took bees wax and I uh, put them together, but what I I did first on there, I took me a piece of 30 pound fishing line, wrapped them crosses up, or that cross member up right there, and snugged them up tight. And then I took beeswax and uh, stuck them together and covered that there fishing line up. But this is the bottom view of it. And, uh, what I will do is, like I said, I've got some old comb that I'm going to put on all four sections of that right there. And uh, then I'm going to coat these here cross members with melted bees wax and see if they will move in there and fill this thing out. And uh, we're going to see if we can catch a swarm in this thing. But I just wanted you all to see this, and I will turn this over and show you the top of it and talk a little bit more about this. But anyhow, here's the top view of this, and you can see that crosshair in there. And this is how my dad and my grandfather used to keep bees years ago. My dad's 80, going to be 83 years old, and this is what he's told me how they used to keep bees. But they used to go out, my grandfather did, and he would see these honeybees coming into the creek to get water, and he would follow them back to the tree where they were at, and if a tree wasn't no account and it was going to blow over or something, they would split that tree open and they would take them bees out of there and put them in an old rough lumber box with cross members in it like this. And then bees would build their comb down on this. And uh, that's how they kept bees because uh, back then they didn't, they needed the honey to. Uh, uses their sweetener because they couldn't go to the store all the time and go buy honey uh, but 
this is how they did it and what I'm going to try to do here is catch a swarm in this here barrel, the bottom part of this barrel here. And if they take up in this here barrel, then what I will do, I will keep them things in here. And uh, we're gonna see how this works. But anyhow, I just wanted to share that with you all. And uh, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I will uh, do a little bit more here because what I plan on doing now is putting some old drawn out comb, hanging it on these cross members and that way the bees want to come in here and they can get started working in here. And maybe they'll fill this out. So I will get off here and I will get back with you. I come down here and I put an inch and an eighth opening in the side of this barrel. And I... Uh, sort of tilted that bit going up into the hive so uh, the rain wouldn't get in there and it would run out if it did but then I will show you here I took me some hardware cloth or fine chicken wire whatever you want to call it and I put over that hole so that stuff wouldn't get in there and tear this up like mice and birds and stuff like that. But that's what I did there. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paint this thing, give it a coat of paint, and then I will, uh, got me some wax found, or some old drawn out comb that I'm gonna put on these cross members. And uh, this is how we're gonna do this. Hopefully it will work. But anyhow, here it is, all painted up. And what I will do, I'll give it another coat. And then uh, what I've been using, I that their Valspar paint that's uh, right there on the floor, it's old. It was off collar and I paid nine dollars for that and that stuff is usually uh, to buy it and it be the right collar and stuff that's probably about a thirty dollar a gallon paint right there but I got it for nine dollars and that was off brand for uh, it was off collar that I got at Lowe's but this is the collar it turned out to be. Would I have went out and chose this collar? No, but I'm not gonna kick a gift horse in the mouth either. Uh, $9 for a, what is usually a $30 a gallon paint, I'll take it. So I don't care if it's hot pink with purple polka dots, this is how I would paint this thing if the paint was cheap. But anyhow, here it is, and what I will do, I will give it another coat, and then I'll be done with it. And then, like I said, what I'll do is uh, I'll put them pieces of comb in there, and I'll show you all that. Uh, I'm not going to get to that today. My daughter has a ball game, and i got to go back to work tomorrow, so... Uh, I'll get to it this weekend and hopefully get this thing done. And I, I want to be able to put this out this weekend somewhere and see if we can get a swarm to move in here. So I will talk to you a little bit later. Right here, I got my barrel swarm trap finished. And what I did here, you see that comb in there? I took some old drawn out comb and put on these cross members and uh, I'm going to take this over to my dad's and put it up here and see if we can catch a swarm in here this year. I will take this over and set it up and I'll show you a little bit more of it here. But 
you can see the wax in there and if i don't want to move this too much but there you got a good idea of what i did there i mounted that wax and put it on these cross members and hopefully we'll get us a swarm to move in here and they will fill this out but uh i'm going to take it over there and set it up and i'll talk to you a little bit more about it when i get over there i i hope you all are having a great easter and let us not forget what easter's all about it isn't about the easter bunny and chocolate covered eggs and stuff like that it's about jesus coming out of the tomb and saving us for our sins so that's all i'm gonna say about that but that's what the easter is to me so anyhow i'm gonna get off here and we'll take this over and set it up i found a perfect place to set this swarm catcher at uh they cut a tree right here and i got a stump here to set that on we'll see how this works and then when this here tree comes out right here which i don't know if you all are interested in seeing this or not but when this here maple tree comes out there'll be plenty of shade here and i can have plenty of shade there i just hope with this road is setting right here that uh nobody bothers this thing but we'll see i haven't had stuff bothered up here so far but you know how people are when they uh they see something i don't know why they would want to take a hive of bees but you never know but anyhow right down there you see my bees down there so i will have a swarm catcher here a covering my bees here if they decide to swarm hopefully they'll come up here and get in it but i'm gonna try to fix them till they won't swarm so i'll get off here and uh like i said i hope you all are having a great easter i love it up here this this is where i uh like to come i wish i could have all my bees up here but anyhow down there's a garden and if you watch my last video this is where my mother she liked to come up here and uh she liked it up here on this hill and i can see why she could see all over the place and uh this is where she liked to come to but anyhow i'll get this thing set up and explain to you what i'm doing as i go along I got it set up how I want it here, but what I did, I was a coming on the hill, my dad and them had been cutting firewood, so I got me a piece of a walnut stump right there, and that made the ideal thing to set that thing on. And uh, that entrance is facing southeast, and that's just the way I like to face my entrances on my swarm catchers. But I've got it sort of tilted, Till the rain can't run into it which i don't think it will with the way that i've got the hole in it and uh right here's what i'm gonna bait this thing with let me show you here swarm commander that's what i will use but uh i got it set up there and like i said that entrance is facing southeast and that's what we're going to do we're going to leave this thing set here and if i catch a swarm of bees in it here it will stay here i'm not going to move it so uh this is it i'll get the top put on it and i got my trusty feed bag over there which i will put over that top there to just keep the rain out of it but this thing i i really am not looking at it as a swarm catcher barrel i'm looking at it as a log i'm trying to mimic a tree out there for bees to get into and to make her hives and uh if i do happen to catch something here i've got uh another barrel that i'm going to fix up and put on top of here and it will be stacked up double but uh like for my bottom right there i don't think that that's going to rot out for a while so we'll we'll see what happens here i will keep doing updates on this and we'll see if we catch anything here 
Y'all have a great day. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And as I've said before, if y'all are just passing through here and whether you subscribe to me or not, please hit the like button. It helps to get these videos out here. And uh, I will, uh, I'd appreciate that. So, and, and one more thing before I leave you here. I will put a squirt of Swarm Commander in the entrance right there. And then right back in here in the back, I'll put a squirt on there. And then I've got a baggie with a cotton ball in it. I'll put one squirt on it and drop it down in there. And that's how I'll lure this thing. So I will see y'all on the next one. I hope y'all are having a great Easter. I know that my little buddy and I are. He he goes everywhere with me. And uh, he's after something there. But I will get off here. I, I hope a good Lord is blessing you all. And uh, I will see y'all on the next one. Y'all have a great day. And God bless you all. But right there, it's all set up. And like I said, I'll just leave it there and we'll see what happens. So this is your bonus footage here. Catch you on the next one.